In this work we use conditional postural synergies to generate new grasp postures for a dexterous robotic hand. Our main goal is to learn a low dimensional space from grasp postures to facilitate the control of a dexterous robotic hand in downstream manipulation tasks. Our method is based on the conditional variational autoencoder. This model encodes and decodes grasps using a latent space, while taking into account additional information about the grasped object, such as its shape and size. The process consists of two phases. The first phase is the encoding, where a grasp posture, represented by its joint angles, is passed to the encoder along with the object's shape and size. The encoder then generates a low dimensional latent point. During decoding, the latent point along with the object's shape and size are passed through the decoder to generate the joint angles, which are then used to simulate the grasp posture. In order to evaluate our model's representational ability, we propose to use the smoothness of the latent space. To assess the smoothness, we first encode all points. We find their bounding box and create a uniform grid of points. We can visually assess the smoothness by decoding the points on the grid and visualizing the generated grasp postures. This gives us a qualitative view of how dissimilar neighboring grasp postures are. In order to quantify the smoothness of a latent space, for each point on the grid, we compute the distance between the grasp posture generated from it and the points around it. We then compute the average of the distances for each point and their standard deviation. Finally, we compute the global average and standard deviation for the latent space. Our model ranks first in terms of latent space smoothness. We show the effects of smoothness on an in-hand regrasping task. The goal is to change from one grasp to another, for example, from a tripod grasp to a lateral tripod. To create the hand's trajectory, we first encode both grasps into the latent space. We then linearly interpolate between them and sample points on the line connecting them. Finally, we decode these points to create a regrasp trajectory. Here we see examples of various executed regrasps. Our model outperforms all previous approaches on the number of successful regrasps executed. Finally our model can generate grasps for objects with size unseen during training. Here we see the same grasp, generated with a different conditional size input, for each object. Thanks for watching.